once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good Europe, Asia, Australia, North America, South America, Antarctica, Africa Welcome back to my channel. My name is Matthews, aka Macho084 from Zambia. If you are new on this channel, I would like to say thank you very much that you always come back to my channel. And if you are a returning viewer, I really appreciate that you come back to my channel as well because your support it is something that I treasure a lot. Your support it is something that I value. I'm here in Moscow. Metro today we are just doing a comparison because not so long ago I watched a video from one of the famous American youtubers called Drobinski who did a review about the New York Metro station or the New York subway so today we are just going to make sure we do a comparison after visiting every country in the world Woo! I've taken so many public transportation systems but one thing I don't understand is why is New York so bad we're gonna find out in this video Jesus Christ really dirty I don't know if this is a combination of spit nasty what do you think about the subway system here? I wouldn't trust it there's no glass door to protect a passenger from jumping off and killing themselves I don't know what is going on over here but it ain't pretty is that old how would you compare the Pyongyang Metro versus New York Metro better in Pyongyang I'm going to talk about safety, I'm going to talk about cleanness, I'm going to talk about homelessness, I'm going to talk about, you know, payment system and what are some of the unique features that you are going to find in the Moscow subway. So where are you watching this video from? Don't forget to drop a comment without wasting much of your time. Let's dive into the video. In today's video, we are just going to find out if the Moscow subway is better safe and cleaner than the new york subway as drew did a video here this is where you just enter and here the cost for each ride is 75 rubles which is just less than one dollar it depends with the economy of the country and you are going to find this modern payment system where you just need to tap your card and it opens with your card this, this is a brand new system. You can actually pay with a credit card to enter the metro. For the record, that costs 275 for one ride. Almost three bucks. The Moscow metro or subway isn't just a means of transportation. It is a subterranean city of art and history. Also, unparalleled grande. Imagine a network of tunnels, stations, and trains each a unique brand of architectural styles lavish decorations and captivating atmosphere this is the moscow subway a testament to the city's history its ambition and its dedication to beauty this is the reason why this place is called an underground paris because you are going to find a lot of interesting things you are going to find a lot of different things and these are the new metros that they have introduced because when i watched the video of drew he was showing that mostly in the new york subway you're going to find that old metros are still running and this is the board where you're going to find over 297 stations and over 14 lines this is another line because it has got different different stations and by the way you can use the metro to go to different stations or to different airports especially the vinokova airport which just goes direct to this place what i can say is you know stepping into this place you're going to see different things once you get inside the metro you are going to see how clean it is you are going to see that it has got different features it is one of the modern metros that you are going to find around the world or in europe to be specific and just look at the doors they are quite clear the way everything is moving and i would like to say why this place is called a palace underground you know just stepping into a moscow subway station is like entering a grand Paris each station posts its own unique designing ranging from the classical grande of Mayakovskava which is one of the oldest with its soaring arcs and mosaics almost all the metro stations here in Russia are going to find that they've got mosaics 
depicting Soviet life to the futuristic life that they want to live and this metro station you know each and every day about 5 million people move in this place just imagine 5 million people move each and every day this is the new line that they opened in 2013 somewhere there and each and every station is adorned with elaborate uh, chandeliers and stained glasses that you can see just look at how clean the floor is especially that he also talked about how dirty the floor this uh, is but this is just a you know pragmatic video that i'm making and i can just call it head on to head on comparison with the new york metro station or the new york subway and here yeah, the screens you are going to find that they just show different things that you are going to see especially the stations that you are going to see everything is well displayed here in this place so guys where are you watching this video from drop a comment let me know what do you think about this uh station is and just look i don't know if this is a combination of spit if it's gum if it's not or all the above You should know not to sit here. But a serial time. Are we going to get someone with a disability comes and I get up. But people say don't sit on the head. Something's dripping. Oh, you're going to be dripping. Dead. What? Before I even forget, you also talked about homelessness because you also interviewed some people. So we are also going to check if you're going to find homeless people in this place and the other thing that i'm going to talk about is the waiting time like during the rush hour the maximum time that you can wait for a metro is two minutes two or three minutes so let's check here what it is showing you can even see that the next metro is going to arrive in less than uh, or more than one minute so after one minute there's going to be another metro that's going to arrive in terms of you know time they follow time and in terms of you know everything security that is cameras there because i remember one of the people that drew interviewed they complained or especially women they said that they rarely use the metro station at night because of um you know the safety measures because of uh, some of the things that take place but here in moscow i can say it is one of the safest metro stations that you can ever use why am i saying so because i use the metro around 24 hours i use the metro until 01 because the metro works until 01 so in terms of safety it is 100 percent because i've never heard that anyone has been attacked or killed in the metro station <laughs> would also like to talk about signs, connections and you know homelessness. So here most you are going to find that in each and every station there are signs. The only thing that you need to do is to follow the signs. So for example like I need to connect to go to prospect the glass cover. You can even see it is uh, written there the name and it is showing you that you need to take the stairs so let's take the stairs together we learn how to connect the most important thing or the only thing that you need to take into account is just to make sure that you are following all the signs once you are following the signs you never go wrong so let's see so you can even see it is showing you where i'm supposed to go meaning i'm supposed to go this side let's go together and let's also talk about the cleanness of this metro station all the signs are there showing you where i'm supposed to 
to go. Look at how clean the metro station is because when I was watching Drew's video, I noticed that in the New York metro station, you are going to find a lot of liters around. You are going to find a lot of water stuffs on the floor, like someone feed there. But here it is a different story. You are going to find that it is very clean as if it is inside someone's home and along the connections when you are connecting you are not going to find homeless people you are not going to find alcoholics sitting or drug addicts sitting in the metro station so we are just doing a comparison so you can even see these are some of small small things that you can um, find about connection you just need to make sure that you are following the signs signs are always everywhere and maybe the only challenging thing that i can talk about is if you don't read russian if you don't read russian yes it's going to be challenging Standing here on the edge, and there's puddles and trash and all kinds of shit right there. I just want to point out this this whole system. These really ugly pipes. I don't know what the pipes are for. AC? Definitely not AC. It's hot in here. Payphones. I can't imagine that this works. I'm gonna test this payphone. Doesn't work. so i've just come to one of the first lines that they opened here in moscow in 1935 somewhere there this is the red line this is the red line that you can see it is one of the oldest i don't want to be biased in making this video why have i come to this place because i want to show you how the odd and new metro looks like especially if we talk about cleanness and if we talk about the sign so this is how the old line looks like because it was opened it was one of the first lines that they opened and if you're asking yourself how many stations are you going to find here in this uh moscow subway or moscow metro station you're going to find about uh, 375 somewhere there that's what i read i think even being it the oldest metro line you can even see how clean it is you can even see that you are not going to find liters anywhere you are not going to find people sleeping on the floor this is just you know i think this is an holistic approach this is a pragmatic video i'm making why am i saying so because i tried to watch drew's video and everything that he highlighted about things that you are going to to find especially when you're using this metro and you know the other thing that he complained about is the metro or subway being hot like it is very hot especially that he was even saying that i can't wear my jacket i'm even sweating but here in moscow we are going to find that the moscow metro or the moscow subway has got air conditioner has got ac even in summer when it is hot outside you might want to stay inside because they are fitted with air cons. even the metro themselves they have got the air cons. one thing i want to say is it is hot as in this metro sorry for calling it there is no ventilation in here whatsoever it is hot steamy i'm talking like kuwait vibes hot it is super super hot in here yeah i have a jacket on because it's raining outside but man i feel bad for these people that have to commute and wait in this non-ac subway
just look at this uh, metro, the way it is uh, looking. So we are just going to visit different different metro stations. We make a comparison with the New York metro station because a lot of people are saying that no, it is, it is in a dilapidated state. I just don't know such kind of uh, metro you know they have designed them in such a way because very soon it is going to be a new year <laughs> it is my also my first time I'm seeing such kind of uh, metro being designed like this there you know Varota, Ruskawa, Severna I don't know what is written there so this is just the Moscow subway these are some of the things that you are going to find we are exploding everything we just make sure that i talk about everything cleanness i talk about homelessness i talk about safety i don't i talk about also what you are going to find and you know just look at the floor the way it is the way it is well uh, looked after and um here you are going to find that there are workers working 24-7 to make sure that this place looks at its best. So now, let's proceed. We go to another line. We check how it is looking. Despite the artistic uh, part of Grande that I've shown you, I think the Moscow subway is also a remarkable. Uh, efficient or I can say it is quite a remarkably efficient and practical transportation system it boasts a vast network of lines and stations providing a quick and affordable access to all corners of the city where you see people commuting from different different parts of the world and apart from that you are going to find that this is also an underground city why do I say so because it just goes beyond the beauty the moscow subway is an underground city itself it's a place where people gather you can even come here to meet your friends to have date socialize even people have weddings in these metro stations and even performances you'll find street performers musicians and artists adding to the unique ambience of the stations in this place so this is you know just what i'm doing it's a head-to-head -head comparison with a new york metro station i know someone is going to call me a propagandist for doing such kind of event looked after they are well maintained just look at the design everything that is in this place so i think i i know a lot of people are going to say that no probably this is paid propaganda i'm being paid to do such kind of a video well i'm just doing a review after watching drew's video one of the famous american youtubers and you are going to find the board here this is what it shows and here this is a demarcation where people have to stand you don't have to stand beyond this yellow line that they drew here and mostly if you stand you are going to hear someone because they are cctvs they watch and they will tell you to step back or the metro will just haunt and uh, one of the things that you are going to notice is that in each and every corner of the moscow subway you are going to find that there are safety officers there are security standing that's why the crime in the inside the subway i can say it is zero you are not going to experience such kind of things and i know a lot of people will be watching especially from america they are going to comment that this is paid propaganda well i'm just showing you what is obtaining on the ground now this place looks because you know when i watched drew's video it triggers my idea like no i think i should make a comparison about the new york subway and the moscow 
subway metro station so what do you think about this metro station we're just checking out different metro station because even drew checked out different different metro station to come up with uh, a better conclusion yes i'm doing this so that we can both you and i can come up with a better conclusion so i'm going now to another new metro station that they opened so i'm going to show you different lines i want to show you the new lines i want to show you the old lines so that we can you know agree on one thing how clean they are or now you know well maintained or how safe it is and by the way here the metro works until 0132 or 202 you can still use it because i've made videos where i've used the metro around zero one around zero two nothing has ever happened to me and the, how i wish i could interview some people like what they think about this metro station unfortunately russians they're always in a hurry you can't just stop someone that no can ask you a question what do you think about the metro station something like i feel like i'm going to disturb them and in here you are going to find that in each and every um, escalator or elevator you are going to find a personnel who works they make sure that everything is uh okay Homelessness in New York City is a serious problem, an injustice that often plays out in the subway system. Did you know that for every one displaced person here, there are about three vacant apartments? That statistic is crazy, and the city's response to the growing crisis is under fire. Instead of helping those in need to find shelter or jobs, the local government breaks up shelters and pushes people to the streets. So the next time you're on the subway, I'd encourage you to spare that extra dollar. It can go a very long way for someone who really needs This metro station that we are walking through, it was opened this year, the beginning of uh, September, and most of the metro stations here in Moscow, you are going to find that they have got benches where uh, you are supposed to sit. And as I talked about workers, you are going to find that workers are always moving, making sure that, you know, people are not vandalizing anything. And I can talk about innovation because this is a place that they always renovate each and every time. Well, these are the benches. It's made out of wood as you can see and just look at the floor you can even sleep on it people moving the deflection the way it is uh, deflecting these are some of the things that the western media doesn't show you these are some of the things that people don't talk about and thanks to drew for making such a review about the new york uh subway i remember i also talked about you know cats not cats rats running around you see here the way it is you won't find liters in those you know walls it is just green just look at everything because i saw a video where rats were just running around but in this place it is just in all the metro stations that you are going to visit here in moscow you are going to find that they are rails they are always well maintained because workers are always you know working making sure that everything is clean look that is a rat crawling through the tracks that's disgusting 
totally gross like I do just a short time. It's also to visit New York so that I can experience what people talk about in each and every video especially i remember there's one famous youtuber from africa wadamaya who visited algeria and he mentioned one word that no the algerian metro station is cleaner than the you know the new york subway is better than the new york subway i don't know about that but from the comments the way people comment i think it's a fact <laughs> so meaning it's not everything that is bad about africa there are also other good things that you can talk about and in this line you are going to see that there are always always new metros that are moving because i showed you some of the unique features that you are going to find in these metros there is wi-fi that is another thing you are going to find that there is wi-fi inside you can connect and there is also you know place for old people there is also usb where you can just charge your phone in case your phone is running out of battery There's even a camera here. It can't recognize me. That's what it is uh, saying. This is the entrance. Like if you work here, you can just do there. Then your face is going to be scanned. Wow. Look at how handsome I'm looking. Jesus Christ. You see, meaning the next uh, train is coming in the in less than uh, three minutes. Why am I saying train? Metro is coming in less than uh, two minutes. That's why I was saying that during the rush hour, you are going to find that the time that it takes for you to wait for the metro is less than just three minutes, and you can even. I think now it is high time we can just check out the unique features that you are going to find in the Moscow subway or the Moscow metro things that you can use things that are tailor made for people. The first thing that you are going to observe once you get inside is just how clean these metros are maintained and look at this seat. This is a seat or a space left for people who are disabled where they're supposed to sit here you are going to find that it's dedicated for pregnant women people who are pregnant people who've got uh, kids people who've got uh, you know and also the elderly these are some of the unique features apart from that you are going to find the usbs where you can charge your phone in case you your phone goes off you know and you are going to find free Wi-Fi, which is 4G free Wi-Fi. You can just scan here and you get connected. Apart from that, you also complain that inside it is really hot. Here, you are going to find that almost all the metro stations, especially rather the metros, the new ones, they are fitted with air conditioners. They have got air conditioners inside is something that you don't need to worry about you just move in peace and you can even see the new design of the new chair where you can sit or the new seats apart from that there is also another interesting that as you are sitting you can easily connect your phone to your charger look at those green lights i don't know why those green lights are there if you know the reasons please drop a comment and here this is where you can just charge your phone this is where you can just you know do your thing and just look at the floor just look at everything this is indeed the piece of art this is indeed a museum it is not just a mode of transport but it is also a museum and you are going to find big big glass doors everywhere and the screen where it displays the next station where you are going to stop and other things i think this is why they say that the system is organized 
radially most lines run from the center of moscow to the outskirts of moscow where it is going to take you to different places and i would like to recommend drubinsky for making such a video because we rarely see such kind of videos from western youtubers talking about you know the pros and cons of how life is they are going to find that mostly they just show us that everything is okay but he do he did a bold step by just showing us everything that is you know happening by making such kind of a video and i was prompt also to make such kind of a video the moscow subway is also considered the busiest in europe and the busiest in the world outside asia i think the first one should be you know the chinese metro stations they should be one of the busiest apart from that the 90 seconds interval of peak hour trains on some lines are the shortest in the world what do i mean during the rush hour you can only wait for the next metro for less than 90 me 90 seconds rather in some stations meaning it makes it to be one of the shortest intervals in the world and the system is known for the extravagant and unique interior of the stations thanks to which it is considered a tourist attraction meaning people they just come here to see this place people they just come here to check out different things because it is not only the transport system but it is also an underground city it is also a palace it is also a museum at the same time that's what i can say i think in my conclusion i can just say that beyond transportation the moscow subway is an integral part of city's identity it's a testament to soviet ingenuity a showcase of artistic talent and a palace or a place where history and modernity converge it is an experience that transcends more you know transportation and becomes a journey into the heart and the soul of moscow so guys this is just what i wanted to show you to work with you to make a comparison with uh the you know moscow metro station and the new york subway this is just a video that i wanted to make to just you know do a comparison i'm not saying that everything is perfect in this place but it was just you know important for me to make a comparison otherwise i really appreciate for the support that you always show me i really appreciate that you always come back to my channel because without you my channel ceases to exist without you this channel would never been uh, come into existence since i just want to say thank you very much and i will see you in the next video it was your boy matthews aka matthews 08 from zambia here in moscow exploding lifestyle here in russia bye